On October 15, 2022, the Friends of Ganondigan and the Iroquois White Corn Project hosted their annual Corn Husking Bee at the Iroquois White Corn Project. Okay, so this is one of the years of the white corn that we just got. And uh, beautiful uh, full ear, good length. And we take off the outer ears. We want to get down to the last three because we're going to use those when we make our braids. So right now we're just peeling off the outer ears, or the outer uh, husks to get down to the last three and see what we have in order to braid it together. And it looks like a nice full ear, very consistent kernels, grows right toward the end. This is a nice ear. This will work perfect. We would use about this section in here for our seed. Good seed corn, good ear of corn, and uh, good husks for braiding. This year's corn delivery came from Mother Earth Farm from the Akwesasne territory of the Mohawk Nation. Volunteers were invited to participate in the day-long event, which included the removing of the husk, braiding the husk, and hanging the braids in the corn crib for drying. When these braids are dry, they will later be used to produce three products that the Iroquois White Corn Project sells. They sell a hulled white corn, a white corn flour, and a roasted white corn flour. This time of the year, we're happy because we know we're gonna make the winter. I imagine our ancestors were so happy. I can't, I can't think about that. To have this ready. I love corn. Well, now again, white corn. It's gonna get me emotional because my sister, older sister, my daughter, my grandchildren, is the way our ancestors did it. So even though it's 2022, how fortunate are we that we're still able to do things like this and how we're connected from nation to nation and that we're passing on these things, not realizing we are doing what our ancestors gave us, even though we have to live in both worlds. Um, and I'm just very honored that my daughter can do this. And when I asked her, I can't remember where she learned it. She said, from you. And so without even knowing it, I was doing it. It means a lot because, you know, I was raised in the culture by my family, by my mom and my aunts. So I was very fortunate to learn everything that I know. I don't know everything, but I was fortunate that I had these ladies to teach me ever since I was young. A lot of stuff that not a lot of people do anymore. So like that, and then I have my children here running around. But that's what I remember doing as a kid, running around and just watching, watching. That's how I learned to do it. So now my kids, whether they're paying attention or not, they do pay attention, right? Like you don't notice them paying attention, but they pay attention. And that's what's cool because I learned from them and they probably didn't think I was paying attention. <laughs> so it means a lot to me. I'm hoping that someday maybe they'll do it. I don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> To find out more about the Iroquois White Corn Project, please visit ganondigan.org.